today we will see the continuation of this great topic. Uh, it's nothing but some important uh, interrelations between the concentration methods, especially the concentration things, especially competitive point of view. So, this is what we stopped at uh, molarity is equal to x by gram molecular weight into 1000 by what is coming? 100 minus x. What is x here? x is nothing but weight percentage or nothing but the mass percentage. See, some other important relations will be there. Relation between molarity and mole fraction. Molarity is equal to mole fraction of A into 1000 by mole fraction of B component into molecular mass of B component. I will write here. So A related to, so it is nothing but a, chi A is equal to what to be written? Mole fraction of, so it. And what is the meaning of chi B? Mole fraction of the solvent. Mole fraction of solvent. What is the meaning of Mb? Is the gram molecular weight of the B means a solvent. Gram molecular weight of solvent. Yes. And still we have some other relations. Relation between molarity and molarity. It's a very important thing. Molarity is equal to 1000 into M by 1000 into B minus Molarity, molarity into gram molecular weight. Yes, what the relation? Molarity is equal to 1000 into molarity by 1000 into density minus molarity into gram molecular weight. Here I will write the terms. A capital M is nothing but a molarity of solution and a D means what? A density of solution and uh, you know. Uh, GMW. GMW means what? Gram molecular weight of the solute. Gram molecular weight of the solute. And I will give you one more formula. It's nothing but uh, see carefully. Molarity and mole fraction relation. Molarity is equal to 1000 into density into chi A by chi A into MA plus chi B into MB. For the relation here we will see molarity and mole fraction relation with the density. Yes, you see here D means what density of the solution. Now, very useful for competitive point of view. Density of the solution. And what is the meaning of chi A? Mole fraction of solute mole fraction of solute automatically M A means what? not molarity it is nothing but a gram molecular weight of the solute and what is the meaning of chi B? It is nothing but a mole fraction of the solvent mole fraction of solvent and what is the meaning of M B? gram molecular weight of Solvent. If you have these uh, the shortcut formulas, we can handle with these concentration methods in the competitive point of view. I think here we got seven to eight formulas we got to have to observe very carefully. All of you getting them? Yes. Okay. Uh, till now we discuss about the concentration methods, recording concentration methods, whatever problems is asking in all aspects to be discussed. And tomorrow class we can see the mining and the concept in the solutions. First of all, I will write one question here. See K only. It is nothing but calculate the molarity of solution of 5 grams of area of 400 ml of the solution. 5 grams of NaOH dissolved in 450 ml of solution. ml of solution. Then he is asking what is the molarity of the solution. Yes, first of all, study the question. So, 5 grams of NaOH is dissolved or present in 450 ml of the solution. Then, what is the molarity? First, study the question what times given. Yes, you see, write down the solution for these. 
What is the solute here? Na O is the solute. That's what we read on here. Weight of solute. Weight of solute is equal to how much? Five grams. Gram molecular weight of the solute. Solute is nothing but that. Na O H. Gram molecular weight of Na O H. You know very well. Some of its atomic weight. Twenty three plus oxygen sixty plus one. Together is coming forty grams. What we have already volume of solution we have nothing but how much four fifty ml. Yes, what is the formula for molarity? We have to see very carefully. Molarity is equal to weight of the solute by gram molecular weight of the solute into thousand by what is coming in volume of solution in ml. Final formula we are using. So then do it. Molarity is equal to weight of the solute is how much five grams. Gram molecular weight forty into thousand by what is coming? Four fifty ml is coming. We do simplification zero zero cancel again. We are getting fifty by four into forty five. To do simplification, we are getting a point two seven eight is coming. Point two seven eight mole. Don't forget to write in the units. You can write molarity or moles per liter. You will wish you can write it any day. Or if you got it, very simple problem. Now I am giving some other problems which you can solve. Second question: Calculate the amount of benzoic acid. Calculate the calculate the amount of benzoic acid. Amount of benzoic acid. Benzoic acid formula. C six H five C O O H on benzene C O O H is coming. Benzoic acid for preparing two fifty ml of solution. For two fifty ml of how much concentration? Point one five molar solution. Point one five molar solution. Ah uh, yes. See how much amount of the benzoic acid is required for uh, preparation of the two fifty ml of the point one five molar solution. These all questions in your uh, material board I am providing for you, but don't worry about them. Just understand the question. First of all, what is asking that solution for this? Weight of benzoic acid is asking. Yes or no? Weight of the benzoic acid nothing but solute question mark. What is the gram molecular weight of benzoic acid? Formula. C six H five C O O H. You calculate very clearly. How many carbons is there? Seven carbons. Seven carbons are. Do it like this. Seven into twelve plus. How many oxygens is there? Two oxygens. Each oxygen sixty plus. How many hydrogens is there? Six hydrogen. Each hydrogen will be one. I think you are getting together. How much? One twenty two is coming. No. Yes. One twenty two is coming. So weight of the benzoic acid is equal. Already we know gram molecular weight we know, and what is given to us? Volume of the solution given. How much? Two fifty ml. What is the concentration of the solution? Point one five molar. Okay, again substitute the formula. What is that one? Molarity is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into thousand by what's coming? Volume of solution should be in kilograms. Already given molarity, how much? 0.15. Weight, question mark. Gram molecular weight, 122 into 1000 by volume of solution is coming. How much? 250 ml. Okay, 250 here. Yeah, four times. Okay, again you can do. It's nothing but uh, how many times is coming? Three times and uh, uh, every five times, na? Uh, 35. Yes. Uh, 0.5. You can do it like this. Then you are getting weight is equal to 0.15 into 122, 122 of why 4 is coming. You check your answer is coming 4.575 grams is coming. Weight of benzoic acid is equal to 4.575 grams is coming. Any difficulty no? Or times given related formula and substitution and simplification. Yes. Now you see one more problem related to this one. Third problem, just shortcut it. I will write what is given. What is the molarity of the solution? Question mark the small m. What is given to us? Two point five grams of the ethanoic acid uh, in seventy five grams of the benzene. Two point 
फाइव ग्राम इथेनोलिक एसिड और मतलब एसिडिक एसिड इट डायरेक्टली इज नथिंग बट सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एच इन सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम बेंजी सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम बेंजी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन गिवन टू अस इट्स वेरी क्लियर व्हाट इज द सोल्यूट यू which is in lesser quantity that should be considered as a solute so acetic acid or ethanoic acid is the solute which is relatively large quantity 75 so it should be considered as solvent very simple weight of solute is nothing but ethanoic acid is equal to how much 2.5 grams i want gram molecular weight of ethanoic acid CH3 COOH check it once how many carbons two carbons two carbons are 24 24 plus 4 hydrogen is 4 28 28 plus 2 6 is 32 together is coming 60 grams and i want to find out weight of solvent nothing but benzene benzene formula C6H6 how much is given amount 75 grams But what do you want? Small m you want. What is the small m formula? Small m means molarity is equal to weight of the solute by gram molecular weight into thousand by volume of sorry. Weight of which one? So weight should be taken in grams. Very simple. Yes, two molarity is equal to weight of the solute two point five grams. Gram molecular weight is sixty into Thousand by weight of the solvent is how much? Seventy five. You do simplification, we are getting point that uh, double five or uh, is coming. Point five 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 six small m is coming. Instead of small m, we can write moles per kg. Also, we can write because molarity of this is nothing but uh, moles per kg. All of you clear? Yes, very clear. First, only one thing you have to understand. Uh, read two three times problem. What times you have read by this? Related formula right now: substitution and simplification. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. So you see, uh, next problem is a very important problem. Competitive formula. What is asking? Calculate the mass of urea. Weight of urea is asking. Give the question mark. What is the uh, formula of urea? You know, diamond. NH2CO NH2 already given in the question. Don't worry about that one. Huh? Diamond is showing us. Okay, calculate the weight or mass of urea is required in making 2.5 kg of. I don't really like that. 2.5 kg of 0.25 molar aqueous solution. 0.25 molar molar means small m of which one? Aqueous solution. Question understand very carefully. Is asking how much weight of urea is required to prepare 2.5 kg of 0.25 molar aqueous solution? You got some information. What is the solvent? Aqueous. Aqueous means water. So right on that's only question one is that one. Gram molecular weight of urea. From formula you will get. Uh, I think you see. I two fourteen so two nitrogen two fourteen so twenty eight twenty eight plus carbon twelve ah twenty eight plus twelve ah uh, forty is coming forty plus uh, how much is coming oxygen sixteen fifty six fifty six plus four sixty is coming molecular mass of urea is nothing but sixty as like that ah uh, ethanoic acid or or nothing but acetic acid okay let me now observe very carefully find out molarity formula what is the molarity formula weight of the substance a solute by gram molecular weight into 1000 by what has to be considered weight of solvent should be taken in grams now already we have molarity yes and weight we have get it and gram molecular weight already we got it and our target is what weight of the solvent but what we have here weight of the solution we have observe the things very carefully weight of the solution is equal to 2.5 kg is indirectly nothing but 2500 grams don't consider this one why because we want a purely solvent weight what has to be done you see carefully so what is the meaning of 0.25 molar means 0.25 molar means indirectly 0.25 moles Of 
solute is there in that solution. Now I want to find out the weight of the solute that should be subtracted from solution then you will get solvent weight. Now what I am doing is uh, 0.25 each mole each mole means how much? 60 but 0.25 moles means how much? Weight of urea which is present in this solution is equal to 0.25 into 60 is coming how much around? Uh, think uh, 15 grams no? 15 grams is coming I think yes you check it is nothing but yes 15 grams is coming ok weight of this solution we have weight of this solution we have automatically weight of solvent is equal to weight of solution minus solute are you agreeing or not? why because solution is equal to solute plus solvent solution weight is how much? 2500 grams minus how much? 50 a removed, you are getting 2485 grams is coming. What is this one? Weight of the solvent. Yes, you substitute in the formula, you are getting uh, molarity is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by what is coming? Weight of solvent should be in grams. Molarity how much? 0.25. But very important for competitive. Weight of the urea, question mark. Gram molecular weight 60 into 1000 by weight of the solvent only we want 2485 grams. Okay, we want weight of urea 0.25 into 60 into 2485 by 1000. You are getting how much weight of the solvent means around the 37.275 grams is coming. Weight of urea is equal to 37.275 grams is coming. Yes. Once you check it, what is the procedure? All of you clear? Yes. Now we are going to one more problem. Let's see here for you. Ah. Now we are coming into more fraction related problem. What is asking? Can you get the more fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20 percentage of ethylene glycol by mass? Yes, you see carefully. Next question is asking more fraction of ethylene glycol. Formula is also mentioned is nothing but C2H6O2. C2H6O2. Question 1. What do you meant to us? 20 percentage. 20 percentage of ethylene uh, glycol solution it is. Twenty percentage of ethylene glycol at your solution it is. That we mentioned very clearly, this is nothing but that weight percentage. Yes. Very careful you have to see. Okay, let it be. What is asking? More fraction is asking. But what are you going to ask? 20 percentage by mass percentage of ethylene glycol of active solution. Means what is it mean? Yes, now I will write one statement here from this. What is the definition of the mass percentage? The amount of the solute which is present in 100 grams of the solution. Means what is the meaning of 20 percentage? 20 grams of ethylene glycol present in 100 grams of the solution. 100 grams of aqueous solution. Okay, you want everything. What do we got? Weight of ethylene glycol we want. How much? 20. Let it be. Now, total weight of the solution is how much? 100. Okay, but solute weight is how much? 20. Then I want weight of solvent. What is the solvent here? Water. Why? Because active solution. No, that's why weight of water in this is nothing but how much? 100 minus 20 is coming like 80. Oh. Now, find out molecular weight of ethylene glycol uh, from its formula. How to get it? 2 dwells on 24 plus 6. How much? Uh, 30. 30 plus 32 is becoming like 62. Okay, I want to find out the molecular weight of water. I, I think you know very well it is nothing but 80. But mole fraction means we have to consider the number of moles. For that I am going, number of moles of ethylene glycol is equal to formula. Weight of the ethylene glycol by what is coming? Molecular weight of ethylene glycol. 
what is coming then 20 by 62 is coming okay this is coming right off uh, this one means it's nothing but 20 by 62 means 0.322 is coming so why is that 322 do one more thing is nothing but the number of moles of the water is equal to weight of the water 80 by 80 coming how much around uh, uh, 4.44 is coming 444 moles is coming but what is our seen? Mole fraction of ethylene glycol is our seen. What are the formula for mole fraction of the any material? Mole fraction of ethylene glycol is equal to number of moles of ethylene glycol by total moles. It's nothing but number of moles of ethylene glycol plus number of moles of the what? Okay, number of moles of ethylene glycol will be how much? 0 0.322 by 0 0.322 plus 4.44 is coming. Root simplification 0 0.322 by 4. Point, what is coming? 76 is coming. Yes, sir. 762 is coming. Okay, automatically what is coming? 76. 76. Yes, no. 762 uh, is coming. Yes. Okay, after simplification we are getting 0 0.0675 is coming. Okay, yes, sir. So if you can do simplification 4.762 uh, is okay as yes, we can simplify you get 0 0.0675 is coming. This is also for this one. Just once you see this one, only work is here how to convert the percentage into uh, like a statement or like a uh, information. What is the percentage meaning? The amount of the solution means 20 grams of ethylene glycol present in how much solution? 100 grams. It's a very clear solute. Molecular weight, number of moles. But we have solution. Don't want. We want a solvent. How many is possible? Solute plus solvent is equal to solution. But I want solvent. Then solution minus solute. Nothing but 100 minus 20. Okay. If we ask that mole fraction of the water, is it necessary to do any process? Not required. Why? Sum should be 1. Then we can do 1 minus mole fraction of ethylene glycol. Nothing but what is coming? 1 minus 0 0.0625 is coming. You are getting answer for this one. All of you clear? Yes. Yes. So let's see one more question. Let's see. Calculate the mole fraction of the benzene spread off. We want mole fraction of the benzene. You know formula I think that C6H6 is the benzene formula is asking this mole fraction. Okay, next. What do you want? A benzene in a solution containing 30% by mass of benzene in carbon tetrachloride. 30% by mass of benzene in a CCL4 solution. You know very well. Uh, substitution reactions of alkanes you want uh, so there is nothing but carbon tetrachloride is an organic non polar solvent in CCL4 solution. Okay, this is the question. Now, as the previous, what has to be done? 30 percentage by mass. We want to do it. What is that one? 30 grams of benzene present in present in which one? 100 grams of the solution 100 grams of solution so very clear from this what is this one? solute right on that is only weight of benzene is equal to how much amount? 30 grams ok do gram molecular weight of benzene gram molecular weight of benzene is from its formula 6 volts are 72 plus 6 how much is coming? 78. Okay, next part. Total weight of solution is how much? 100. Okay, na? Uh, but solute is how much? 30. Automatically, weight of solvent. What is the solvent here? CCL4. Indirectly, weight of solvent is equal to weight of carbon tetrachloride is equal to how much is coming? 100 minus 30 will be coming. Nothing but how much? Immediately we have to do one more thing. It is nothing but gram molecular weight of CCL4. Uh, 
one organism, how much? 12. Plus each chlorine, 35.5. How many times? So 4 times. 35.5 into 4. We are getting how much? 12 plus. Uh, o is 20. Okay. And we are getting O is 22. And uh, we are getting 142. No? 140. Together we are getting how much? Its molecular mass is uh, nothing but uh, 150. 154. No? Yes, sir. 154. We are getting. If we need to do one more step is nothing but number of moles of benzene. Formula, weight of the substance by molecular weight of the substance is nothing but 30 by 78 is coming, 0 point something is coming, it is nothing but 0 point uh, 385. 385 is coming. Do same thing here, number of moles of CCL4. Weight of the CCL4 is 70. Molecular weight is how much? 154 is coming. Yes, if you do simplification, we are getting 0 0.454 is coming. Yes, number of moles of the benzene you want, number of moles of the CCL4 we got. But what do you want? Mole fraction of benzene. What is the formula for mole fraction of benzene? Mole fraction of benzene is equal to huh, number of moles of the component. Number of moles of benzene by number of moles of benzene plus number of moles of the CCL4 component by total moles. Number of moles of benzene will be coming how much? 0.385 by 0.385 plus 0.454 is coming. Good simplification 0.385 by uh, 0 0.9 is yes, no 13 and 1 8 na 